Legend has it that the term double cross originated with Jonathan Wilde, an infamous 18th century English criminal who marked his enemies with two crosses in his ledger. Wilde not only deceived the English authorities by pretending to reform, but also used his connections to become the most powerful criminal kingpin in England. In more recent times, the term refers to betrayals like Hitler turning against Stalin after signing a pact, or Mir Jafar betraying his ruler during the Battle of Plassey by withholding Bengal's army from the fight. Now let's dive into history's 12 greatest double crosses. Harold Cole, an English jailbird, served in the British Army and the French Resistance during Wewa Found, but ultimately betrayed both by working for the Germans. He lied and conned his way across France, joined the Nazis, and snitched on the Resistance, resulting in the arrest and execution of many. Cole's treacherous actions led to the deaths of over 150 Resistance members, but he eventually met his own demise in a shootout with French police. Eddie Chapman, also known as Agent Zigzag, was a career criminal who became a double agent during World War II. He fed false information to the Germans, derailing the effectiveness of their vengeance weapons and potentially saving the lives of thousands of Londoners. Chapman's exploits were later published and adapted into a movie, cementing his place as one of history's greatest backstabbers. In 1939, Hitler and Stalin shocked the world by signing the German-Soviet Non-Aggression Pact, dividing Eastern Europe between them. Hitler saw it as a temporary measure to deal with Britain and France before turning on the USSR, while Stalin believed the pact would hold and that war with Germany was not imminent. When evidence of an impending German attack emerged, Stalin dismissed it as fake news or a British plot, leaving the Soviets unprepared when the German blow finally fell in 1941. In the Battle of Leipzig, Napoleon faced a coalition of armies led by Tsar Alexander I and Field Marshal Karl Philipp. Despite being outnumbered, Napoleon planned to take the offensive, but his forces were unable to achieve a breakthrough. The situation worsened when his Saxon allies double-crossed him, abandoning their positions and leaving a gaping hole in the French line, leading to a catastrophic defeat for Napoleon. Juan Pujol Garcia, an eccentric Spaniard, tricked the Nazis with his fictional spying during Nabui Puig. Despite being rejected by British intelligence, he posed as a Nazi-sympathizing Spanish government officer and sent made-up reports about Britain to his German handlers. Intercepting these reports, the British realized Pujol's deception and transformed his imaginary network into an elaborate double-cross operation, ultimately convincing the Germans to keep powerful formations in the Pas de Calais instead of rushing them to Normandy during the D-Day invasion. Once hailed as the thief-taker, Jonathan Wilde successfully deceived both the authorities and his clients by posing as a reformed criminal. Little did they know that Wilde was secretly profiting from his own stolen goods, using his position to eliminate his competition. However, his downfall came when a betrayed criminal exposed his deceit, leading to a swift trial, conviction, and ultimately, his own demise at the gallows. Mir Jafar, an Arab adventurer who rose to power in India, betrayed his father-in-law, Ali Vardi Khan, and helped the British seize control of Bengal. During the Battle of Plassey in 1757, Jafar defected with a large portion of the Bengal army, leading to the defeat of Siraj al-Dawla. However, Jafar's own treachery eventually led to his removal and replacement as Bengal's ruler. 
Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés achieved one of history's most significant betrayals against Montezuma II, resulting in the destruction of the Aztec Empire and the rise of Spanish dominance in Mexico. After landing in Mexico in 1519, Cortés formed alliances with native tribes and eventually entered Tenochtitlan, the Aztec capital. Taking advantage of Montezuma's hospitality, Cortés seized him as a hostage and ruled through him. However, when Cortés left to confront another Spanish expedition, his deputy's brutal actions sparked an uprising, leading to Montezuma's death and Cortés' eventual victory over Tenochtitlan. Francisco Pizarro, a Spanish conquistador, pulled off a dramatic double cross against the Incan emperor Atahualpa, resulting in the destruction of the native empire and the establishment of a Spanish domain. Pizarro met Atahualpa in a plaza in Cajamarca, where the Spaniards, hidden in buildings and alleys, attacked the unarmed natives, massacring thousands. Pizarro captured Atahualpa, who offered a room filled with gold and silver for his life, but Pizarro betrayed him again, staging a trial and executing him. Pizarro's treachery eventually caught up with him when he was stabbed to death in 1541. Thomas Stanley, 1st Earl of Derby, was a powerful figure during the Wars of Roses. He initially supported both the Lancastrian and Yorkist factions, but ultimately betrayed King Richard III by secretly contacting his stepson, Henry Tudor. This double cross proved decisive in the Battle of Bosworth, leading to Richard's defeat and the rise of the Tudor dynasty. Arminius, a German leader, was once a trusted Roman ally. However, he turned against the Romans and led them into a devastating ambush known as the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest. This betrayal not only shocked Rome, but also halted their plans for expansion into Germania, ultimately shaping the future of Europe. Marcus Junius Brutus, known for his betrayal of Julius Caesar, was initially a supporter of Caesar, but turned against him when he saw him as a potential king. He joined Pompey's side and fought against Caesar, but after Caesar's victory, Brutus was pardoned and restored to favor. However, his resentment remained, and he eagerly joined a secret group called the Liberators to assassinate Caesar. After the assassination, Brutus and his co-conspirators were forced to flee Rome, and a civil war ensued ending with Brutus's defeat and his decision to take his own life rather than be captured by Octavius. <laughs>